Hi YouTube, this is P31Diva and I'm coming to you with a video today about all the chatter that I've seen on YouTube lately in the natural community about hair typing. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it a way to further divide um, natural women? You know, that whole deal. And I put it in the same category as I do of maybe wanting to know one's zodiac symbol or personality type. I just see it as a another way to maybe discover more about oneself in this particular case about one's hair type. Of, um, and I do think that there's merit especially in YouTube because we are in a virtual community and we don't see one another. We can't touch, um, we don't get to see each other day in and day out. And so having a commonality, a base foundation, um, when we speak about different things relating to hair, I think it's helpful. For instance, if I were to tell you, oh, I'm going to get my hair colored, and you say, okay, what color? And I say, oh, it's going to be the same color as Tiffany's. You wouldn't know who Tiffany was. You don't know what color Tiffany's hair is, and so you wouldn't know what color I'm thinking about getting my hair. However, if I were to say, oh, I want to get my hair colored the same color as Mary J. Blige, then you'd know immediately what color I was speaking about. And that's the same way that I see hair typings, whether you are using 3B, 3C, 4A, 4B, 4C, or the lowest or you say my hair is cottony, wiry, what have you, I see that more or less as just having a, a common language by which we can speak to share ideas and information about hair, nothing more, nothing less. Um, I don't consider myself obsessed with hair type. When I looked up that word, it had a negative connotation, and so I don't associate much things negative with me. But I would say that I'm particular about my hair. I'm mindful. I'm conscientious. Just like I am about other things in my life. I'm conscious about not just my hair, but how I look overall. Um, how I present myself to the world. Am I showing my spirituality, my faith? Am I being a kind person? Those are intangible things which are harder to see. But the things that are um, more materialistic or more tangible are things like, um, is my hair well groomed? And it doesn't have to be straight to be well groomed. But is my hair well groomed? Am I wearing my hair in a way that um, highlights my best features? Am I wearing my hair in a way that says I take time and energy and that I care about the way I look? Um, so I am particular and conscious about those things. And I was that way even when I had relaxed hair. I'm that way about um, how I look physically, um, how my child looks, how my home is kept. Is it clean? Um, just things like that. So I think that being particular about one's self is greater than just my hair. For me, it's greater than my hair. It's all aspects of my life. I do want to present myself in a way that I am pleased to show to other people. And in a way that, while I know everyone won't appreciate or approve of or understand, but that my friends and family um, would appreciate. So that's my take on hair typing. Um, is it a form of self-hate? For some, it probably is, but I do think that there's some merit in it again for watching videos and knowing. If nothing else, going to save you time and money from knowing a product may or may not work for you and how much you want to invest in it so that you can make a sound decision and so that you can have a deeper understanding when watching videos. So I hope I've said something that's useful. I'd love to hear your comments and responses. Um, feel free to do a video response or just a text response. I'd love to hear from you. So that's it. Have a great one. Bye.